What's well, so lads, welcome back to part four. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Woke Swamp. Now it was brought to my attention the other day by someone. I said to them about subscribing. And they said, well, how much is it gonna cost me? I said, it ain't gonna cost you anything, mate. It's a free service YouTube provide, so you can have an alarm on your phone to tell you when I've released a video. It's fair enough, isn't it? It don't cost nothing, and it helps me build my channel so I can make more videos. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Oh, subscribe. That is gonna be fitted onto there with this running forward. And that's it, just nicely under there. This bit of channel, cut it down so it fits on the top and makes it rigid. And these two bits from the wing support, you can read into there like that. Then I'm gonna lock these off and fix that to that. Where this reaches here. And we use this spring hanger from the back. First job's gonna be to cut this bit of channel down to suit this spring. the idea, stiffens the spring right up, makes it nice and solid. Right, so this is sort of what I'm getting at. Put these, something like that. You're banging. Right, so there's the two bits I've cut off. Very nice. They were lovely to cut off, they were. Anyway. And there you can see, that's what it's gonna do. But there you go, that's where it's gonna sit, and you can see the idea now of how it's gonna go up and down. Just gonna tap these on, then I cut the bottom link down a down a lamp. So I'm setting the pinion angle at plum and I can cut this off now and then join this to these two arms. So I've opened the legs on this and now this should sit in here. And we should have zero degrees. So I'm going to tack that on for a minute and give it a bounce. Sky there now. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of fucking wood on the ground, isn't there? Yeah, well, yeah, you're not going to struggle for firewood for a long time, but... As you can see, I've got loads of weld to here where I split them, so I'll be able to get a good bit of contact. And then I'll roll these round the side, which will box this, and that'll stiffen that right up. So that's one side sorted. I'm gonna put a piece on the top here as well, but let's get this side in. So there it is. And I think that looks really cool. It's got an old feel. I've got to finish cleaning it up, obviously, but it's absolutely solid. No need for a panard in there. And I'll finish clearing this up and then leave it out to rust. Devil on my back porch is lying in the shade. 
So these are the rear part of the chassis, which I cut off right at the beginning. Now, that, look how swoopy they are, they're lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bit off, but I'm going to leave all those uh, the studs in there because they look cool. So I intend to use both of these, but not in the orientation it would have been like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this across and meet it in the middle here and use the other half to come the other way. And this will give me somewhere to run my fuel tank off of. So that's what I'm going to do now. But well, that's what I'm going to have a go at doing. I'm going to cut it up, have a look, and if they look as good as I think they're going to look, they're going to look awesome. Uh... So I'm just going to nip this little shady bit out. Now well, that's the idea. And now i just got to ease this round. Right, where I put this in, sort of plumb, I've got to clear these ends up a bit. Top them down like this. I'm going to plumb with this. And I cap the ends, cap the bottom. Still got a bit more welding to do, but it's enough for the minute. Right, next job. What I'm going to do is cut this down, and then I'm going to drill a hole through here, and then probably some more as well. Wonder if one's going to be in the wrong place. So blunt. So much fun. Wow. Right, so I'm going to tidy up the underside now. There's not too much to do. I'm going to weld this up and I'm probably going to put a plate put a bit of a heavy plate on there because the U-bolts are going to be slapped on the it.
Rats out. The electric shakes. What a tune, eh? There's some pals of mine from Bournemouth, so they've let me use their music. Also, Drop Jaw John, I played double bass on, which makes it a little bit more interesting for me to play that. But I'm going to be mixing up with some music and mixing up the videos a bit. I hope you saw my other video I released this week. That was a good laugh. Did that on Sunday. That was much fun. So next week, I'm going to be fitting the engine, which is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to getting that in there. Make some nice brackets up for that. And I'm going to be finishing off all the U-bolts for the front and the rear. And that's going to tighten everything up. So hopefully by the end of next week, I'll have the engine and gearbox in. And then I'll be heading into the brakes. And then steer in. And then take it for a little drive, I reckon. But the engine, I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on to start with. But if you want to see all of that, you really, really need to hit the old subscribe button so you can catch me every week with the old bell so it gives you a little reminder and we'll all be good. Excellent. I'll see you dudes later. Hang loose. It's all looking a bit far. You know what I mean?